Hello everyone, welcome to session 9 of LTech 623. Congratulations on completing video production project number one. I have to say the results are really, really strong. I can't wait for you to check out all of the different videos that resulted from this particular project. The creativity on display is fantastic. There were excellent examples of using meaningful text overlays. There were strong examples of close-ups and multiple perspectives. Some of you experimented with jump cuts and other kinds of transition effects, and you developed clever ways to sequence and convey various important information. All in all, I'm really pleased with the results of your first instructional videos. So well done, everyone. Of course, if we look at our production process map, we've reached week four of four. This means we'll spend this week emphasizing peer review and personal reflection. The goal, of course, is to help us learn by looking back on the strengths and weaknesses of our first projects. Keep in mind that next week is spring break, so we'll have a little bit of a lag in the schedule. For this reason, I wanted to give you a bit of an overview as to where we're going over the next two weeks. In session nine, we're all about peer review and personal reflection. There's one reading due in two weeks, as well as a critical reflection assignment. You'll also notice a mid-semester course evaluation. This brief evaluation is completely anonymous and is a good way to give me a little feedback as we head into the second half of the semester. So please get to that if you can. Now, in terms of peer review for video production project one, I want to introduce you to a new tool called Go React. Go React is special cloud-based software designed for giving feedback on videos, and it's specifically made for education. The idea is to use video more efficiently and effectively for skill development. Here's an example of the main interface for reviewing videos in Go React. This is also known as the feedback dashboard. On the left, we have a standard video player, which allows you to play, pause, fast forward, and rewind a video. In the lower right hand side, we have the comment box. And this is where you can write and submit text comments on the video you are reviewing. These comments are automatically timestamped, hyperlinked, and added to the comment stream panel up above. In this example, you can see my comment was added to Allison's video. If I was to click on that comment, it would take me to that segment of her video. Another feature of Go React is marker sets. Markers are like tags that you can use to mark or tag a specific point in a video. Each marker has a different meaning, and if you click on the up arrow in the corner, you will see what each marker stands for. So far, I've added a set of 12 markers related to video editing. They cover topics like text overlays, transitions, changes in clip speed, perspective, and framing. Think of these as quick ways to study videos. To add one of these markers, simply double click on it to add it to the comment stream. Over time, the comment stream will fill up with comments and markers from different reviewers. And eventually, each of you will be able to see a timeline for your video with some analytics showcasing where markers and comments have been applied to your video. In short, this makes a really great video analysis tool. All right, so that's a brief overview of Go React. Before we end, I want to point out that after spring break, we'll delve right into our second video production project. That project will use the talking head production style, which means that you're going to be on camera actually speaking to the camera like a newscaster. So spend some time over break thinking about what you might want your video to be about and how you might go about lighting and setting up a do-it-yourself studio. In terms of topics, pretty much anything goes, and I encourage you to choose something that you know a bit about and feel comfortable talking about. Nothing to do right now. We'll get into all of the details after spring break. Okay, everyone, we're out of time for today. Have a great week, and I'll see you in Canvas.